This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Frozen, Frozen, heroes, gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, heroes, gonna tell you about comic books, costumes, facts, boots, and other stuff. In this week's issue, Christmas Storybook, a gift to all Santa's children from Woolworths, Santa and the Snowball Patrol. Welcome in to Bros, Foes, and Heroes. I'm Jack, whoa. <laughs> He's Jack Frost. It is. You know what? Forget it. I'm yeah, not going to read it. You're Jack uh, Frost. I'm Zach, or in this case, yeah, it's, hey, it's Christmas it's day. It's Zach Frost. It's Jack Frost, Zach Frost, I don't know. Um, I'm Zach, joined as always by the Merry One. I was trying that's in your, my head. That's your like radio overnight name. Jack Frost. Zach Frost. Oh, man. Uh, you always notice how, uh, but I'm Zach, he's Mike, just like always. I was that trying really to come up with something, though. Mary. Like if you were Zach Frost? Yeah, like if you were a radio DJ, Zach Frost in well, the morning. That's what it fits very much with like a <laughs> rock station or like yeah, one of those like sure. FM. Sure. <laughs> I have like oldies in the morning. Well, working, Zach Frost working in radio forever. Like you work with people that kind of have those, you know, yeah. type. Granted, I never worked with anybody here in this area that much, but you would still bump into some guys. No, right. I might have worked with one or two, but anyway. Yeah. Uh, but it was always just like they had like the little bit of a wacky kind of FM DJ voice in yeah. them. But like the Casey Kasem, hey, we're spinning it back to back, it beat to beat, like, kind of like that. Keep you know? your feet on the ground and yeah. keep reaching for the stars. Yeah. This one comes from little Susie, who says, you know, her my, dog. my father died in a terrible fire. <laughs> that was the <laughs> only thing that got me through it was the song by the Spinners. <laughs> Here's Rubber Band Man. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> yeah, there you go. Happy uh, Christmas to you. Know, you. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Her dad died in a fire. <laughs> uh, that is the one thing, and I promise we're gonna get into yeah, uh, Christmas theme. But that is the one thing that always kind of made me feel I don't know awkward about those replays of the old Casey Case. Oh yeah, because the, the all the dedications were super sad. Yeah, they're super sad. They're like, my boyfriend left me while I was eating a hoagie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and now I can't eat sandwiches without thinking about it. The only thing that got me through it was Rubber Band Man. Again? <laughs> Everybody's number one song, Rubber Band Man. Hey, let's not forget, he's the voice of, who? he was the... Uh, he was uh, Scooby-Doo. Scooby, we're not... No, Shaggy. Shaggy, yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, he was Shaggy. Yeah, which is kind of funny, too, because it doesn't really fit. Uh, but yeah, they were all... <laughs> can't eat me and my friends were solving crimes... <laughs> when we we took off the mask of the mayor who had been killing kids at the amusement park the only thing that got it through it got us through it was the song rubber band <laughs> again a third time in an hour <laughs> a third time <laughs> we gotta vet these better <laughs> uh all right so <laughs> you just covered. hear that bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Oh, don't that. <laughs> hey, y'all, prepare yourself like, for the rub. All I can think of is like it was like a Staples I that, commercial I do love or that something song, by like the way, that. But, you remember that? Oh, yeah. yeah, with the, it, was it was the, the guy the, from My Name it was Is Crab Earl. Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man, so funny. All right, there you go. All right, I'm gonna listen to uh, Rubber Band Man on the way home today. That's a guarantee. But. We covered a little bit uh, a couple weeks ago, the first of these. There were three that I could find. We'll save the other one for maybe next Christmas. But uh, there are these Woolworths Christmas <laughs> storybooks. Next Christmas, if I we're mean, all still around. Well, here's the thing. like, It's not going to do yeah. us any good to do it next sure, week no, because no. we're out of the Christmas season. Yeah, Today being Christmas, Christmas, it makes sense. Starting on the 26th. Um, but I have something special planned for next week. I decided for us to kind of do a year in review to yeah. kind of just look back at uh, at That's least to see fun. what you remember of everything we covered in the last year. Um, I'm sure that we'll remember some things just casually talking about it today. I was reminded of the issue that we covered where Superman um, adopted Jimmy Olsen and just mm. how much of a super dick he was to Jimmy Olsen. the only Olsen. thing that got me through it was Rubber Band <laughs> Man. Uh, I was right. adopted by the world's <laughs> strongest man. <laughs> it was the world's <laughs> worst dad. <laughs> uh, so 
Uh, we'll do a year in review well, yeah. next you know, year. It's but not like we'll we do. practice this before no, we come in or we anything. We don't. We yeah. just that's the thing is we didn't prepare any of this, and we have given you a solid five minutes on the spinners and yeah. rubber band man and I'm just case I'm over. just surprised that when I said the spinners, you knew it was rubber band man. Uh, yeah. I think it is. I'm pretty sure. Here's yeah, I don't you know, know what sure. I have it on my phone, but oh, I'll I'll ex- I'm telling you I love the song. I genuinely do, but. Um, so we're going to cover the year in review next week, and this week we will cover the second of three of the Woolworths books. But we did 1952 last week. This week we will be doing 1953. Uh, my dad was born in 1953. Oh, nice. Yeah, the dad that I ate. So um, I figured <laughs> that was a great tie-in on se- sure. a segment for Christmas episode sure, that sounds for good. people first listening in. There's a long story there that we'll get into later. It has to do with spreading ashes. It's not like I'm a cannibal or anything. Merry Christmas. Uh, um, Merry so Christmas, everybody. Rubber Band Man is sung by the spinners. Yep. Okay. Good. Nice job. Thank you. Anyway, in Wool's, uh, Woolworths, they released a Christmas storybook. In 1953, and what these were is it's a collection of like a it had a comic story in there, yeah. But it's essentially like the Toys R Us. Uh, I I mean Toys R Us technically isn't around anymore, but like the tar whatever it is now. For when I was a kid, it was the Target Christmas catalog. Mm. Remember those things were like thick. It was, was Target. It was Toys R Us. It was Sears. Mine it was, was Sears. Yeah. Yeah. Sears there was. Book. There always seemed to be like every holiday season. There was like one store that had a yeah. really yeah. thick book, and you'd go Sears through is, and circle stuff. Yeah, Sears yeah. is the one where I circled all the Star Wars figures. All the Ken what the original are, ones. The Ken, Kenner. Ken, Kenner. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but so that's essentially what Woolworths did here. I had one here. of those uh, Boba Fett's that they then recalled. Remember the one that shot? He shot a missile out of his back. No. And they recalled it because kids were choking on it because they were shooting a missile down their throat, I guess. <laughs> and so they recalled it and made it where the missile didn't come out anymore. But I had one that fired the missile. Oh, Ooh, yeah. you were fancy. Oh yeah, that's why. Did you I'm try to s- check yourself? That's why I'm on still it? working because I have it. <laughs> no. <laughs> also, did you try to choke yourself on it? Sure. Okay. Well, it was about. It was that age. I well, was trying to choke it? myself on everything. What? <laughs> Ego more. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Woolsworth, Woolworths in the fifties decided, Hey, what if we added a Christmas story in here to yeah. try to sell our toys too? Yeah. And so we have this week, Santa and the snowball patrol is our story <laughs> to go along with what Mike loves the most out of all these, which is these the old toy yeah, ads. The old ads. So, uh, Christmas storybook, a gift to all Santa's children from Woolworth, Santa and the snowball patrol. There you go. Uh, you open it up, and the front page there is books the that you can... the only thing that got me through it. No. <laughs> rubber band, man. <laughs> uh, books you can color and cut out. They already yeah. have an ad right on the front in there. But yeah. we get into our story because they don't want to bore you with ads to begin with. And very much so, like we had Bobby and Billy, and they like names that have... I love uh, Lucy cutouts. Oh, is that what's on the quarter. front page? Yeah, I love Lucy cutouts. Uh, that'll give you a time frame on this sucker. 1953. Um, by the way, it, <laughs> down at the bottom, it says prices slightly higher in West. What West? Just like, in the West? <laughs> like, yeah, in the West in general, or like the town West? Or like... Yeah, because I don't think it was a town West, because this is this was put up, uh, printed in the USA by Western Printing and Lithography Company. Oh, it's the lithography it's that the gets lithography the, makes that, you have yeah, to charge a little bit more. A little more. Okay, sorry. No, you're fine. A little people. Yeah, so. Janie. They, Janie and what's his other name? Turdball. No, it's J names. Jimmy. Janie and Jimmy. What's they, the parrot's name? Gabby. Gabby. Gabby says, let's see the snowman get ahead. Quack. Yeah, yeah, very much. Gabby, Thank you. he's annoying through the whole thing. Oh, no. Come on. Yeah. Um, but He's got earmuffs on <laughs> the no bird ears. He has. <laughs> well, he's a parrot. He gets cold in the winter. Yeah. Uh, so the kids make a snowman outside. He kind of looks like Frosty. They're called in for dinner by their mother, mm-hmm. and they go to eat dinner. And they're all, you notice, they're all drinking milk, which mm-hmm. is kind of weird for mm-hmm. dinner. Mm-hmm. Um, by the well, way, this snowman looks swell. <laughs> swell is very like solid. It looks swell. Uh, the kids tell their parents, hey, we're going to, you think if we go to bed early, since it's Christmas Eve, that we'll get our gifts from Santa quicker? And their parents are like, well, I guess that's possible. And they're like, all right, then we're going to get ready right after dinner and go to bed. Well, the, the father says, hmm, that's very possible, children. <laughs> like he never thought of it before. And then the parrot right behind him, <laughs> very possible. <laughs> well, he's doing God. what a parrot does. Can you imagine living with this thing? With a parrot? With no. A, oh, God. It had to be the worst. So it looks like they're getting... It, the only thing that gives me solace is knowing this was that long ago, so this parrot's dead. 
<laughs> well, I don't know. Parents live for a long time, I feel like. Don't spoil my... Sorry. Don't yuck my yum. I, I would never... <laughs> I, love I love dead parrots. That's my I yum. would never yuck your yum. Yeah. Right. Uh, Golly, Christmas Eve is the most exciting time of all. Yeah, so the kids are getting ready for bed when all of a sudden they hear oh, a tap no. on outside their door and the snowman's just come to life. We they're, don't explain how. They're not even surprised. And they're not phased at and all. And there's no hat that just, makes him come to life. And that's what he says. He's like, hey, guys, you essentially, I'm not, I'm mm. paraphrasing, but you guys forgot to give me a hat. And they're like, oh, hey, you're right. And Gabby goes and grabs their dad's top hat. And the kids are like, you know, he never wears that. You can have it. What's so, that effing parrot that brings it to it? Him? Does the How's parrot? that, everybody? Because the kids weren't going to go find one. Get out of here, parrot. But then the snowman says, puts the hat on, says, hey, that fits pretty good. <laughs> puts him in a party mood. And then he's like, uh, oh, hold on. Where is it? He goes, this hat, yeah, puts me in a party mood. Why don't we all go to my house for a Christmas when party? When did he get a house? He's always had one. Okay. But the kids don't even question it. Yeah. He's just, he's just like, wonderful. We'll get our hats and coats is what yep. they say. They're just like, yeah, sure. Weird snowman who just came to life and he's not going to mm. murder us. Granted, I guess, you know, it's nice for the children to be able to just to not have that type of. To, to slowly drift into insanity by a, a snowman that talks. <laughs> yeah. 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 It sounds great. It's, I just, I don't know. I guess like the wonderment of a child, if a snowman came and talked to sure. you, you would follow it. But looking sure. at it now, Straight if, a snowman, is where you if a snowman it. came and talked to me, I would have questions mm. first. Before I would just be like, yeah. yeah, no, let's go to your house. That sounds fine. Uh, mainly like, how well, are you talking or why? I think, but again, I think maybe it doesn't work for the story. I if a horse started talking, I'd have fewer questions than an inanimate snowman I just put together that's telling me to go to his house that previously didn't I realize exist. That, and I also realize that we are seeming to attack very hard yes. at children's yes. Christmas I'm comic going to all day no long. And this damn parrot. Logic. La, la, la. No, I, I get oh, that it's, it's Christmas magic, whatever it is. I just find it funny that he's like, man, I want to party. Y'all, you guys want to party? Uh, yeah, we well, love to party, snowman. Let's do this. Keep going, because there's some other stuff here. There is, yeah. So... <laughs> He takes them to his snowman his house. house. Yeah, he's got a house. With a door and everything. And he opens it, and Furniture. there's his wife, who's just Miss Snowman. Doesn't it's have a first snowman. name. And they have a snowman son. Oh, my Lord. Whose name is Snowdrop. Ugh. Don't Snowdrop. like the name Snowdrop? I don't like this name, Snowdrop. Okay. It reminds me of Godzuki. A little bit. And I just don't like Godzuki. I don't like Godzuki oh, either. Oh, oh, poof. <laughs> that thing. Where he did that. It's, ugh. Uh, Gross. Get out of here. But God, while they're there, good. they're like, hey, we'll feed you guys uh, snow. snow. <laughs> All flavored snow. Because that's what, which here's the thing. Uh, I know I made the joke earlier. It now seems fitting. Uh -huh. um, if their snowmen are made out of snow, wouldn't that mean that they're eating? Yeah, they're other? eating themselves. Yeah. Well, what? what Flavor? Is what, that what you want What to frightened me a little more is it says yummy chocolate snow. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> that brown snow came from somewhere, and if they're eating the snowmen, mm. you know what I just realized? <laughs> because the only other flavor we get is lemon. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm see. Around the back, the fudge is made. That's all I'm saying. I'm not making that. <laughs> yeah, the lemon icicle is delicious. Squawk. <laughs> Oh wow! I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to take <laughs> the step. Saying. No, that's fine. That's fine. My mind is not going to make the leap that I think that uh, it wants to. The fact that just how people that's are how feeding children <laughs> their poop and pee. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what's took happening. A, this took a terrible Christmas turn. Let's try to get it back on mm -hmm, track. Mm -hmm. uh, the parrot Gabby is shocked uh, because he is resting on some type of antenna, which yeah. gets a like a <laughs> signal <laughs> crackle. And the signal says, North Pole calling Snowdrop. Oh, God. And Snowdrop, Snowdrop answering North Patrol. Come in, over. North Patrol. Yeah. This is Santa Claus. Can you bring the oh, Snowball Pole. Patrol to escort me on my Christmas journey? Mm. Over? Because you can't talk on walkie-talkies without saying over after sure. everything. And then uh, Snowdrop to Santa Claus. I will summon the Snowball Patrol and join you immediately. Over and out. So. Snowball Patrol sounds like a soft core movie. <laughs> <laughs> snow up to santa claus i will summon the snowball patrol and join you immediately oh man uh the kids oh 
Jimmy and Janie want to go with him. Can we go with you? Yeah, so can we go with you? And Snowdrop says, of course. Oh, but before we go, you might want to take a dive down the hill of flying snow. What? And they're like, what? Flying snow. And here's the, the thing to make sure that kids weren't just like, hey, what are we going to do if kids roll themselves in snow and try to fly? We'll tell them that this is the only place in the mm. world that they can find flying snow. Got it. But the kids essentially roll down a hill. They just throw themselves down a they hill. They do, just with reckless abandon. And yeah. they get covered in snow around their stomachs, kind of like where it looks like they're Ugh. part snow people, just their arms and legs and heads sticking out. Uh, Snowball tells them if they hold, take in a deep breath, and it kind of helps them float so they can fly, just like everybody else thinks of the flying snow. We'll pick back up with our story, but next, it's Mike's favorite part. It's our first set of ads. All right. So uh, right here, let's see. Hang on. I'm still looking at these kids floating in the air. Uh, okay, so Christmas toys and delicious candies. They tried to push suckers last time, too. Yeah. Well, they had some left. <laughs> Lineup toy. This is the this is that damn parrot. Lineup toy soldiers beat drums, toot saxophones. All bright plastic with delicious cello wrapped pops and hard candy. Mm. Hey, so all that plastic we can't get rid of, we your, were pushing in full your, force your, back then. Your grandma was gonna love it. Saxo Here, saxophone party horn. So that saxophone, I had I, just looking at it, I can tell you that I somehow had mm -hmm. like a little horn like yeah. that too. It's the little plastic like yeah. And I don't know, like some people of a certain age probably had, but it had the little buttons on the side, yeah, like you sure. could push them. Yeah, yeah. You probably had a little bit nicer one than the saxophone party horn. Uh, Maybe they're just a, a slightly newer, hopefully. Yeah, then there's a soldier who stands at attention. All of this is basically just, just holding suckers. suckers. Yeah. yeah. Santa rides in the soapbox derby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> spotted giraffe on turning? On turning? On... Carries two patches. Yeah. Hard candy. Six. Didn't even tell me what that means. It's a on seven turning. And a, I guess the wheels. I guess. You can play this drum. Comes complete with two drumsticks. <laughs> Hold six pops and two pouches of candies. I wonder if it's like, uh, I'd pick one of those drums. Which drum do you want, sir? I would like to, you can play this drum. You can play this drum, please. <laughs> uh, big stocking and toys. That's one of those crappy stockings that's, you know, made out of like, Oh, here's you know the thing. What I'm talking about? You brought up prices I see earlier. It. I see it, yeah. But they added. It now says prices slightly higher in South and West. Yeah, so the next one's going to be the price is slightly higher in, uh, higher in North, South, East, and West. <laughs> the last one is the reindeer that pulls Santa in the wagon. It's a, it's I wonder if it had to do reindeer. with, like, plastic prices or something like that. I don't that. know, man. Uh, we have think, dolls next, I think though. the E. Rosen Company is just... just you know, fleecing people. Maybe. Uh, All these yeah. dolls freak me out. Beautiful dollies that cry. Turn heads. Open and close eyes. The only reason I say that that way is because there's exclamation <laughs> points after all of these. Uh, their model, their molded, ugh, molded hair <laughs> is quote unquote combed. <laughs> uh, their bodies are extra soft dash latex. That's weird. Uh, oh, latex rubber all Rubber all stuffed. Oh, rubber all stuffed with foam and sponge rubber, and they have vinyl heads. Like that's a selling point. Vinyl heads. Uh, you can hear them cry. And it's got a little picture of them going wah. See them nod. Isn't that just shaking the baby? I think that's yeah. That's and watch the bad. eyes blink. So there's darling in lace trim pinafore dress. There's big girl wears patent, patent. belt on dress. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, like a patent leather belt. Yeah, patent leather, yeah. And the, the little girl from the story is telling us they're, they're cuddly as real little girls can't break even if they fall. And these dollies Unlike real cry when girls. you squeeze them. Yeah. Hold no, on, hold should. on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> these dollies cry when you squeeze them. Uh-huh. Just like babies would. Just probably. like babies. But they cry. They keep crying. <laughs> you squeeze a real baby, it stops at some point. Oh, uh, wow. This is very dark for us. Lovely blonde Christmas braids. Episode. Yeah, and then put up very this Christmas. dolly's waves. They cry, they shake head, they close eyes. That, okay. All those dolls are If weird you take that out of context, that's how somebody dies. They cry, they shake their head, then they close their eyes. <laughs> that's I mean, that's, <laughs> that's what that is. That's true. It's just like, uh, and then boom, yep. bad. This is made by Jolly Toys. Nothing, nothing jolly about those. Now, next one is Toys to Shoot. Throw, float, build. They're for us and our kid oh. brothers and sisters, says the little fart. 
<laughs> that lamb goes ba and wags his head and tail is mm-hmm. back again. Oh yeah, they were there last year. Yeah. It's like the little thing you pull on a string and it like its head yeah, would move it just, up and it's down. It's like a pull pull after toy, you know, like They're, the little popping thing yeah. that you push or whatever. It looks like they gave them some sort of like cheap like horseshoe ring toss game in there mm. too. Yeah, there's a toss rings oh. and horseshoes. There's alphabet rattles that float in the bathtub. Oh. They're, Oh, of course, in the same ad, you've got the jet rifle that shoots six balls at one loading. Uh, then you have the dark Drag pistol much. and targets that <laughs> improves your aim. Uh, and then we had it's these the, also, the, the Build-A-Block things. We had those in another ad. Oh, yeah, you're right. They look like little snowflakes. The handgun, the dark pistol, it's mm-hmm. the one, too, with, like, the suction, the plastic yes. with the suction yes. cups on the end. Yeah. So they make that... You know, like sound on this. They... Uh, the next one is grown up dresser sets for little girls. This is exactly like the last ones that we that, had. Where it's Two just kind of like. Set, six piece set, yep. And the girl says, picture of your favorite fairy tale princess in the back of the mirror and brush. You don't know who my it's... fairy tale princess favorite is. It's Belle. Mine's always been Belle. Okay. And then there's just balls. You're not going to share? No. I shared mine. Uh, mine is Diana. Um, the. <laughs> the. Uh, the last thing on this page is just balls. Yeah. Big balls to bounce and roll. Hey, kids, you can play indoors or out with these soft rubber balls. And hey, look you at gotta, the bright designs. You got to sell them balls somehow. 59 cents for the 16-inch oh. and 89 cents Don't for the worry, 18 Balls inch. are only – only prices are slightly higher in the West for balls. Oh, you great. can get cheaper great. balls in the South. What I are they doing that- in the West? So everything has always been more expensive out there, I think, because... Where is out there, though? <laughs> the West. <laughs> okay. Follow along, Mike. It's according the West. To, according to where you are, the West could be a very different place. That's true. But um, I think that it maybe it was slightly higher in the South at the time because maybe it had to do with plastic prices. Maybe. And rubber is fine, though, in the South. Probably had something to do with racism, too. Well, I would imagine if it had to do with the South. <laughs> so uh, we're back to our story where Snowdrop whistles and Twee! all these That's flying snowballs like. in like with hats, cadet hats yeah. show up he's i should mention that snowdrops wearing like you, a drill sergeant hat i told too. you this is from the soft core it says snowballs look at them come <laughs> uh the, <laughs> so all the little snowballs just like line up like little little and like a v, yeah, yeah they're like in a v formation with oh Janie and jimmy flying in front with snowdrop and gabby the parrot but the little snowballs keep hitting Jimmy as they fly because he can't yeah. really see where he's going. Yeah, because Jimmy's an idiot. <laughs> so they tell Gabby to go down into this tropic area to see if they can find somebody to help guide them around. Freaking, what's his name? Snow Crusher? Snowdrop. What, Snowdrop. Snow Crusher. It says Janie and Jimmy are so large, they can be our super bombers. All yeah, right, they're just the big dial B-52 it back a little bit. Hey, Snow, Snowdrop doesn't hang out with a lot of people. He's a snowman Snowdrop's child. A turd. Snowdrop, I'm bumping everyone because I can't see to the right or left of me. Hmm, you need a navigator to give you directions. <laughs> That's how he talks. He does talk like hey, that. Hey, kids. So look they, at my balls. They send Gabby down to look at the uh, <laughs> island down there. They're flying over jungle country. What is that? What's jungle country? It's racism. Like, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, it looks, I'm assuming that it's supposed to be somewhere in <laughs> yeah, Africa. Yeah. But well, I mean, it could be South America, right? I, yeah, but it, would make, it wouldn't make sense if they're headed to the North Pole. You yeah, have to think true. that these are American kids. Where's the jungle country between here and the North Pole? There isn't one, right? No. Is there jungle in Canada? <laughs> no. Dear Santa, is there jungle in Canada? <laughs> so... They go down and find two birds, though, that apparently are Gabby's cousins. And I yeah. love this, though. Well, all birds are cousins. Because they you know. say, he says, hey, I met two of my cousins sitting in a palm tree. What a small world. Mm-hmm. And they tell them that they'll, they'll be their navigators. Yeah. But they say, we hadn't seen Gabby since the day he was hatched. Then how do you know it's for you sure your cousin? You don't know. That's some guy just went yeah. in there and he That's was just... like, hey, guys, I'm your cousin Gabby. And they're like. Okay, is, we'll leave our house and navigate these strange flying children for you. This is all so they can just just slowly gaslight these children into something. Uh, so they now have navigators. As they fly towards the North, North Pole, they see that somehow there's a message in the snow that says help. But And they figure out that the reindeer are lost. Snowdrop says we must be getting neap the North Pole. I think it's supposed to be near. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. 
And then the reindeers, uh, they're just crying out to, to snowdrop. To snow they're lost, but they knew how to write help in the oh, snow. Balls. So they tell Gabby, hey, wait here with the reindeer. Basically, you're going to lead them back. You're going to follow, help them back to the North Pole with us. What is the deal with these reindeer? Aren't they supposed to have like some sort of guidance system or something in them? Hey, remember when the reindeer ate that sentient uh, candy yes. rocket ship? Yes, that was the last one. That was kind of horrifying. Yeah, these kids, these guys are just going to eat all these snowballs that are talking to them. Uh, so Gabby helps the reindeer, and they all eventually get back to Santa's mm. house. And while they're there, like Snowdrop just tells them, hey, Santa, this is Janie and this is Jimmy. And he's like, all right, welcome, children. But I have bad news. Don't know where my reindeer's at. Mm -hmm. And the kids are like, Santa, we got you covered there, too. So Santa seems like he does not know what he's doing no, here at all. Santa has no friggin' clue. Thankfully, these children are saving Christmas. Thank God Woolworths is there. Oh, man, what will we do if not for Woolworths? Mm -hmm. Um, but Santa does give them a tour around the shop, showing them like the dolls he's made and some of the trucks and things like that. This is the room where the dolls and teddy bears are made. My favorite is for some reason though, is Jimmy is shooting like a shotgun kind of, but it's a mm -hmm, cork gun. Mm -hmm. And it says like it's the a double barrel, the cork shooting shotgun is keen. keen. Like that's weird for a child to say, say. but mm. also Santa goes, well, well, I see you found the Western ranch toys, Western ranch toys where prices are higher <laughs> <laughs> oh man it's it's accurate that is where prices are, they higher. are loading this the, now they're loading santa's sleigh yep they're loading santa's sleigh it doesn't look like enough toys it does not and they're getting like ready six things they're getting ready to go out and make all their deliveries and i think that that is going to be uh, you know what actually before let's go ahead and let's take a look at these toys here and then we'll take a quick break balloons that look like clowns animals curls that clown the green one in the bottom right yeah scares me does it look at that oh yeah look at that ooh it looks like jimmy durante clown and look one of its one of its teeth is even yellow in yeah. the picture like they're trying to like yeah that's not great uh jimmy jumbo durante box clown. this is just boxes of balloons yeah, well, one of them has, like, seals on it, I guess, with mouse ears. Well, yeah, one of them, yeah, I don't know what that is. Those are all weird. That's 20 balloons with blower. Yeah, it's the uh, hand pump, or yeah. does it come with a person? I'm sure it's just somebody in there. That just <laughs> you open the box and a full-size human crawls out. They're like, all right, what do you need me to blow Learn up Learn new party games. Santa says hours of games and fun for pennies. Yeah, those are balloons, How much Santa. fun? Those are balloons, kid. You're not having a lot of fun with balloons. What do you think the most fun somebody had with a balloon is? Uh, that kid that floated in the air, Balloon Boy. I think oh. that's the most fun anybody's ever yeah. had with a balloon. Yeah, or the guy that tied all those weather balloons to his chair. The guy from chair. Up. The oh. old man from Up. He's yeah. the one that's had the most fun with balloons. Not really, though, because it got really sad yeah, before true. he did that. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, you the gotta, balloon part, I guess. You got to trade cool. the life of your wife for, for, for flight. a flying house. Yeah. <laughs> That's the real moral of the story. That's it. All right. Next one is uh, look, kids. Most are solid die cast metal. Lots most. of them have moving parts. Their rubber wheels turn and won't make noise or scrape floors. And what he's talking about, kids, are these wonderful, wonderful metal trucks. Uh, there's a farm set with five pieces. Uh, to teach you your new new uh, job, big tow truck with winch you can wing, wind. I had I, I used with to be the married. Winch you can wing. I used to be married to a winch you can wind. Uh, tow truck with movable uh, hoister. You get a lumber truck with five logs. With five logs. Streamlined racer with driver. Uh, cement mixer turns when truck moves. A uh, fire engine with shiny pumper top. Uh, Auto transport uh, with, with four, four cars. cars. Yeah. Here's the thing. Looking at that auto transporter, it looks more sleek than our current day ones it does. do, and it more does. futuristic kind of. Yeah. That's kind of weird. Uh, but but re just remember, kids, that prices are slightly higher in the South and West. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand no that. <laughs> Here's and this happened within mm. a year because we didn't have yeah. that notice in '52. Yeah. No kidding. Uh, okay. Two more ads, real quick. Uh, scale model trucks, planes, fire engines, farm equipment. Oh my. Oh, these are also real quick. These are also higher, but it's the uh, same. It's more from the Hubley Manufacturing Company. Mm, bastards. Yep. I'm sorry. Uh, wings fold on Navy plane. So that's kind of cool. The plane yeah. that the wings fold up. Tractor with spring seat because why not? <laughs> uh, hook and ladder. What do you do with the spring? I don't. That's what I'm saying. I mean, who are you putting in it? You just sit there and just you like just, flick it. You just put your little figure in it and go boing, and he just flies off. <laughs> Just like on a real farm. Oh, man, Randy was farming a little too hard today. <laughs> Hook and ladder with turning turret. Uh, steer road scraper from driver's seat. 
Uh, tractor with thick treads. Oh, I need a girl with thick treads. Uh, truck dumps by itself. Oof, that's <laughs> that was my nickname at one point. That's the that's, the, uh, that's the, the the fine print you see in those IBS ads. <laughs> truck dumps by itself. Uh, steak truck has drop tailgate, and then cattle truck with trailer. Oh, oh nice. Perfect. Kids, uh, for are only a dollar sixty nine. You can see where your food comes from. Uh, you Is that what it says? Transport like? the cows oh, to, the, to the slaughterhouse. <laughs> and act- well, reenactment. Knee action wheels. Knee action wheels. What yep. is a knee action? Well, it's when uh, when your knees are in action. I don't know, man. <laughs> knee action wheels, parking wheels fold, cab lifts to show engine. I, I don't know. 12 and a half inch long plastic after it's talking about all this metal. And then lastly. Then we'll lastly, we have ships. Quick. Ships and cars. Build them yourself. These are models. Oh, these are models. Oh. Seafarers and landlubbers. Ahoy! A hobby for the whole family, says little pirate boy. See, now this, if you're in the West, you're fine. You don't have to pay more than everybody else. Real, scale, model, ship, old-time autos. That's not a sentence. A 1914 Stutz Bearcat? Yeah, man. The hot rod of its day. Yeah, it is. Uh, and it's got a, a little uh, doomed soul in the <laughs> in the passenger seat. <laughs> He's not driving on the right side. No, he's not. He's driving on the English side. And as we all know, that's wrong. 1903 Model A Ford, uh, like Grandpa used to drive. They're all driving on the English uh-huh. side. Yeah. But wasn't the Model T, like that was an, or the Model A, that was an American car. It was, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it comes complete with picnic hampers on side. Like Grandpa used to drive. Yeah. You don't know my grandpa. First of the famous fivers, complete with picnic hampers. Picnic on, hampers. On the side. Uh, then the there's road. a 1911 Rolls-Royce town car. Uh, made you very important. You'd have <laughs> been the toast of the town in this luxurious car for 89 cents. Oh, man. That's then nice. there's a special gift set. And here's how they get you, right? They sell you these things for like 69 cents, 89 cents, whatever. But then you got to buy the paint and the paint brushes and all that. It's $3.45. Well, but I think that's why you get the gift set because it has parts for five model cars oh, in each set. Real. Plus paints, cement, thinner, mm, and brush. Cement. Everything you need. Three forty five dollars and four forty five. dollars we saw we saw some cement the other day. It was yeah, there were AI, people eating. AI had generated a, a cement eating contest, which is a you know what we should do. Thing. And I just had this idea: we should make our own AI generated comic. We book. We should, yeah. I don't know how they would do that. Like we would just I assume make up the story, and I, then it could. We've just not learn. tried it though. I mean, it may just freaking do it. You know, we just go, hey, make me a comic and book. And then we can just cover the adventures of our comic. Like yeah. once a month, we yeah. can check in on our own comic based on the life of. Whoever. I don't know. Mahatma Gandhi as a superhero. Uh, maybe we have like a rabbit who like solves crime mm. with his telekinetic I'm turtle. I all of this. I don't know. We'll I get love all that. that. All right. Well, let's go ahead and take a break here real quick. And then when we come back, we'll wrap up the greatness that is this 1953 Woolsworth Christmas book. Ho, ho. Okay, and now it is time for us to get back into part two of our Woolworths uh, Christmas book from 1953. Welcome back, kids. We have Snuggle to up, grab some cocoa. And I know that you guys were patiently waiting to hear what was going to happen to Janie and oh Jimmy and Gabby and I'm Santa on. and all of them as they're now leaving the North Pole to make their trip around. Uh, the rest of the world to I'm deliver on the toys. Edge of my proverbial frozen seat. And let's not forget that Snowdrop. I'm just kind of resetting the scene. That Snowdrop yep. is there with the Snowball Patrol, which is just a bunch of flying snowballs, it's just flying faces and cadets hats. Is yep. All it is, yeah. So Santa loses his hat. Whoops. Yep. I just oops, my cap. But one of the snowballs uh, saves one the, it for one him. One of the disembodied heads yep. saves it for him. And as they're flying over, Snowdrop points out, Santa, look at that strange square island down there in the ocean. And it does. As you see, it just looks like a square of just ice. a big square. And from here, from the first thing time we see it, it looks like maybe five houses and maybe four people there. But it, later, it seems like there could be more. Mm-hmm. Um, he's like, that is strange. You know, maybe we should land there to get a closer look. But there's these rectangle look, like, 
This is so weird. Fighter planes, dude, I'm telling you. It's just boxes with faces on it with, with uh, like, little square wings and a propeller coming out of the top of yeah. the head and very mad faces. Very mad, and they're like, oh, they're trying to land. Well, we should take action, and they go yeah. and they try to attack they Santa, attack Santa yeah. and the snowballs, you know, go and attack them and cause them to to crash bomb them yeah Yeah, and they they do these like evil robot planes crash land into the water around the island to which there's a bunch of these square people just made out of a bunch of cubes Mm -hmm. that say look they've knocked down all of our robot planes Mm. so that's what those were yeah and santa lands there and they decide to charge because they think they're being invaded ah yeah well santa said or the snowdrop says santa here come uh, others of those with pointed icicles. So mm. they're using pointed icicles as swords, I guess. Yeah. And Santa says that we're going to use the water pump on the toy engine here, and that should stop them. Somehow it has water in it. So a toy fire engine has enough water in it to stop these guys. It fills up just one bucket. One bucket. And yeah. they give the bucket to... Here's what I don't get, right? So at mm. first... The parrots are sitting on Jimmy and Janie's shoulders. Like they're, they're like so big compared to the size of the children. They are, but like the kids are going to grab the bucket and the parents parrots are going to fly them up. Mm-hmm. But then it's like they it's realize the no, there's flying snow. <laughs> it's flying so, children. So but here's what I don't get. So the children do not grab the parrots with their hands. No, no. They grab the parrots with their feet. Yeah. Well how? They have shoes on. It's magic. Or in between their legs, like yeah. I don't know it's how just they're in doing their it. Legs, yeah, which is weird. Yeah, every all it, there's not a one of us that hadn't grabbed a parrot from between our legs. Mm, I'm kind of in that boat, I think. Oh, sorry. So they just dump the water on these right blockheads. on them, and it freezes all blockheads from Gumby. Uh, yeah, it is kind of blockheads, isn't it? Um, mm. and it freezes them in place because that's never been a problem before on an ice. That's what I'm saying. Island. I mean, they they live on this ice island anyway. So, yeah. oh, by the way, my Roomba is stuck. I just got a message saying my Roomba is stuck. It gives you updates like that? Yeah, yeah it tells funny. you when it's stuck. Uh, and so the block people are like, man, this water turned us to ice and it froze us to the ground. And Santa's just like, now you can't harm us. I need to speak to your leader. And one of them goes, I am the leader of the squares. Mm. And he laughs at that. He's he like, so you're squares. So funny. And he's like, yeah, and this is Cube Island. Why are you invading us? And he's like, I'm not invading you. I'm Santa. And that this is Christmas Eve. And they're like, we've never heard of you. What's Christmas Eve? Oh, All these angry Q people. Yeah. And then it says, Christmas is the time for joy and gift giving. Gift? For me? Imagine gift. that. So immediately after the ice melts and they're free with their gifts, Santa obviously blames that on the warmth from Christmas. Sure. Spirit. Yeah. Kind of like the Grinch's heart growing sizes. Two, two um, sizes? Three sizes? Three sizes. Three sizes. And so... All the cute people are happy, and they're like, oh, I feel friendly towards everyone. We should give something, too. Hold on. And they come back not knowing what Christmas is, and they just have this giant thing of candy ice cubes. Ice cubes with a big bow on it. And they're like, hey, give it to all these children. We don't know who you are, Santa Claus. We didn't even know that Christmas existed. But we do understand the concept of children and gift giving now after five minutes. So and please give this to everyone. Bless Christmas and bless you, Santa. Again, I realize it, this yeah, is all. Yeah. I know what we're dealing with here. I'm not that mad. It's just funny. And That's now they're, now he's just taking these kids back home. Yeah. But they're covered in these giant snowballs. So they, That's not going to be weird. No, not at all. So their next stop is going to be Jimmy and Janie's house. And they get there. But before we can get there... We have more, more toys to tell you ads. about. It's ready to roll. Big, strong road builders and trucks with moving parts. The little kid says heavy gauge steel will last for years, big enough for outdoor play. You've got a tow truck that actually hoists. Uh, winder up and watcher go record truck. <laughs> uh, dump trucks, body raises, unloads automatically. Steam shovel. Uh, that steam shovel is actually kind of cool. It is kind of cool. Yeah, car revolves on tractor base. I wouldn't mind having one of those. Fourteen wheel trailer truck, uh, cabbies and the logs. The steam shovel or the car that revolved Both. on the tractor base. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, and then there's the grade your own roads. Boy, there is not a kid out there that doesn't dream of grading their own roads. <laughs> 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 uh, and by the way, prices are slightly oh, yeah. higher in the south and the west. The Ooh. next one is dollies. More of these stupid dollies. Uh, she says, look at those bright eyes. Look at those dimples. And uh, one of, okay, so when you're looking at this ad, one of these babies stands out to me. Okay. Can you tell me which one? On um, the whole ad? Yeah, just look at them holistically here and tell me which one you think. Either the very bottom right one. Which one looks like a wrestler? 
Oh, see, I thought about that too. I thought you were talking about the one that was like half and half, no. like the Dean from Community. No. There, this one, uh, this one, he looks like it looks uh, like Mini Art Anderson. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. He he's, just got his not singlet as, on. And yeah, he's not yeah. as stylish as Ric Flair, no. but he's coming. He's the enforcer. So, yeah, yeah that's – well, they is, all do, honestly. He's got a lot of muscles for a baby. Got, if you look at them, though, like the other two are when he, wearing kind of like old bathing suits, but they could kind of be like a weird tag team too. Like sure. that's a – you know. The next one gives us uh, cuddly crybabies with real clothes, uh, and that stupid parrot says you can dress and undress these dolls yourself. Keep it in your pants here, parrot. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> price is sli slightly higher in the West. Then the next one is toys that make sounds when you move them. And uh, one of the, the uh, floating snowheads says, how the very young kitties will love these musical toys. There's a musical carpet sweeper. It looks like mom's. <laughs> uh, they do like to push that a lot, too. We <laughs> noticed that last year. Like, hey, do stuff at home. There's a happy helicopter that goes, whirr. Just word. Uh, then there's a pole B. Oh, that. I've, okay, so I've seen a seen B those, like that. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. goes buzz. buzz. Then there's a push chime tinkles. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, no joke needed there. Train chugs bell rings. Uh, they're then just there's, telling you. Like, that's the thing is they're not toy names. They're just telling you what it does. Then there's a dog that plays a xylophone. That's the Mary it. Mutt. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't He's a it. Mary Mutt who hammers musical keys. <laughs> They're very on the nose. Yeah. And then down at the bottom, you've got Mickey Mouse metal toys. Fill your day with fun. One of the reindeer is telling us Mickey and his friends play right along with you. No, they don't. And we noticed also last week with the Mickey Mouse stuff, like none of it really looks a lot no, like Mickey either. No, no. It, it looks like Marty Mouse. <laughs> Mickey leads parade on drum. Yeah. See Mickey pour for Mickey on. T oh, see Minnie pour. I was going to say uh, for Mickey on T set. And then watch Mickey's band play. Hear him as top spins. Ooh. By the way, price is slightly higher in the South than the West. Like that. All right. So yeah. we go back to wrap up our story with just one page, and we get more ads to close it sure. out. Sure. Uh, essentially, Santa gets to Janie and Jimmy's house, uh, and they're up on the roof, and they tell Snowdrop bye, and Santa's like, all right, we'll go down the chimney here to go ahead and, you know, deliver your toys. <laughs> And when they go down the snow, just all that right just, down the yeah, they do, just melts all right off of them. Yeah. And here's the thing is the parrot decides to go down the chimney, too. I don't understand they why. They fall down the chimney and land right on their coccyx. <laughs> and they tell Santa, hey, all of our snow melted off. And Santa's like, yes, and here are your presents. And it's a gun and like a brush set. And Jimmy just shakes Santa's hand, which is funny Thank to me. Thank you, Santa, for a lovely <laughs> because transaction. I think of kids, and you think of, like, running up and hugging and excited to yeah. see Santa. But Jimmy's just very much matter of fact. It's like, you gave me your gun. I helped you save Christmas. Yeah. Like, you're welcome, Santa. Until next time. Um, but their parents come back in, and it's Janie, Jimmy. How did you guys get your gifts so quickly? And they both go, Mommy and Daddy, meet Santa Claus. Oh, and he's, oh, like, not there. Oh, no, he's gone. Because they're like, I don't see anyone. And they run to look out the mirror, and he's flying away. And it's a Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. How sweet. Then uh, He's followed by those snowballs. He is. Then we get a Connect the Dots, which I can tell you uh, it's a big I one because it goes man. all the way up to 78. But it's Snowdrop. I can just tell you by looking Says at it. the day after Christmas, the children are thinking about somebody. Can you guess? So tomorrow you all should be thinking about Gross Snowdrop. I said that. Think about Snowdrop today follow, and tomorrow. Follow the numbers and draw a line from dot to dot. And then you get... Uh, and then we close it out with more yeah, ads. Yeah, little here. golden records. We've gone over those. Famous Daisy Toy Guns. Uh, the one I really like at the bottom, though, is the... Pop them shooting game with crows that spin. <laughs> I just saw what is it shooting? Hold on, does it? Oh, crows, hold on. Uh, crows spin on a wire set in a metal base. When you hit them, your gun is 14 inches long and has break in quotes action. Five, Four, corks. five corks, okay. Corks, so you're shooting corks at little metal crows. And it's just so, do they move back and forth? Or does it just like vibrate? I think and they, they just like, vibrate. <laughs> I think they give you a, a complex. <laughs> Uh, you, you know, the thing you can say about this, though, the prices aren't higher anywhere else. Well, no, it's guns. We want yeah. them cheap everywhere. Yeah, guns need to be cheap. And then, uh, oh, boy, we've got a couple more. So then next we've got Yippee Wild West Guns and Holsters. Uh, parrot in a cowboy hat says they look like real guns and shoot caps with a bang. <laughs> bang. Um, Gene Autry Guns, Puff and Smoke. There's a lot of Gene Autry Gene Autry, Autry guns. something something. Hold on. Four out of the six are Gene Autry Guns. Yep, Gene Autry was huge. 
at this time. Uh, and then wow, at the bottom, you get WOW Super Double Holster Set. These are exactly what you think they are. Yeah. They're just metal guns. Uh, the next one is uh, racers and trains and tools just like dads. <laughs> so they, Dad has a lot of trains. You know, they wanted to make sure, like, hey, we got to push other stuff on the kids. Mm -hmm. These prices are also slightly higher in the south and the west, Great. but there is a carpentry set. It says, want to play carpenter? <laughs> uh, there's also a 22 farm animal set. Mm. That's just, it looks like the plastic ones, kind of like the... Colts, cabs, pigs, piglets, sheep, hens, roosters, ducks, turkeys, in fine detail in box with cellophane window. I like how the cellophane window as a selling point <laughs> you can look right through the box uh the next one seems kind of cool slightly though. higher in south yeah, the the blocks and stuff like okay. we didn't have blocks last time and some of these seems like seem like yeah. things that i had or at least knew of yeah. like and maybe you can go on a little bit more the and this is this is before legos yeah that's and so yeah. that's what i wanted to ask about there's two things that i wanted there's american logs mm -hmm. which i wonder if those are kind of like lincoln logs they in are. a way yeah uh, so I played with Lincoln Logs some. I don't know if anybody else. I, I feel like I they had were before. Some American Logs. I feel like I don't know. I was right on the tail end of that yeah. log. Log. Everyone wants a log. Um, what rolls downstairs? <laughs> Honor in pairs rolls over your neighbor's dog. dog. Uh, it's on your back and great for a snack. It's log, log, log. log. Yeah, yeah. I've told the story, That's but I have not said idea. it in at least a year or so. Yeah. That my grandmother hated that show. Yeah. And her thing was always because that she caught them. Whizzing on an electric fence. Don't whiz on the electric fence. <laughs> oh man! Yep. Uh, but no, I wonder you've got are bricks those and logs plastic and bricks like Legos? Plastic then? bricks. Well, I think they're just bricks. I don't think they interlock. So you would just like stack the little plastic pieces. Yeah, they're washable, sturdy plastic, movable doors and windows. Actually, open, transparent. Uh, transparent. What? Where's that? Jalousies and pictures windows. I don't know what a jalousy is. Green roof instruction book included American plastic brick. Yeah, these don't interlock. Yeah, that is mm -hmm. jalousy. I'm Jalousies. gonna look. I'm gonna look what that a up. Is. Uh, the next one is uh, build your own Christmas town with plastic filled toys. They've Ooh. got all the little stores and stuff. Uh, there's a five and ten cent store. There's a hospital. There's a church. Uh, there are sixteen people with everything for painting them. Uh, oh, okay. A supermarket, a barn, a firehouse. Uh, 18 pigs, horses, cows, and sheep, a Cape Cod house, and then a railroad station and an airport hangar. You want to learn? You like learning new words. Yeah, I do. Then. So you want to know what a jalousy is? What is a jalousy? It is a blind or shutter made of a row of angled slats. Oh. Well, kids all know that. Yeah. I mean, what kid doesn't know what a jalousy is? Uh, exciting stories, beautiful pictures, and little golden books. That's the next one. Uh, you've got Janie here saying Mickey Mouse, Donald, and Pluto, Howdy Doody, Christmas, and Bible stories. Uh, all in the same thing. Those things. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, like the little slatted windows. Yes. That, that move back and forth. Okay. Yes, those are what jalousies are. And uh, then one of the last ones says that uh, it has Jimmy and Janie's little cousins, uh, two of the little Hitler youth here, saying that uh, you can do all your Christmas shopping with just a small deposit on Woolworth's layaway plan. Ask any Woolworth store for details. There we go. 1953 was some kind of year. Yeah, it was. Let me tell you, it was great for uh, jalousies and talking snowballs. Yeah, and Merry if Christmas. you wanted lemon and chocolate snow. Yum. So there you go. Merry Christmas. By that way, was Woolworth's 1953. Don't eat yellow snow. And don't, if a snowman asks you or invites you to his house, don't go. It's just water. Yeah, that's you're, you're just not filling up on it's that. It's Kool Aid, if anything. It's, Would you drink chocolate Kool Aid? No, no that sounds disgusting. That sounds awful. Yeah. yeah. Like you who. Oh, yeah, I like you. I know, I know a lot of people Watery, do. watery I chocolate in, milk. I know I'm in the mm. minority. Chocolate there. soldier, too. Same thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's like the knockoff version of a year. Yeah, no, I've had that before, too. I'm just not big on it. So, uh, Christmas yeah. uh, it is today. It's happening. We're not. We're, happy Christmas to all of you, and yeah. happy holidays to the rest of we're you. We're not actually here on Christmas, if no, you're worried about but that. but we're in your ears, in your head, and yeah. you can't get us out. Um, <laughs> what you, what do you think you got for Christmas? Um, let's let's go ahead and predict what okay. we're getting. I think like, do we want real predictions or fake predictions? I mean, a gift. A grift. I'm gonna get a grifter. <laughs> uh, I, f I feel like somebody's gonna gift me somebody that's gonna teach Have me how to be able to grift for something. Um, that's the okay. So I don't ever ask for anything. I'm at the point in my life where I feel like, and I think that we all kind of get to that point. Maybe it's where like if there's something that I really want. 
I get it. That's what we say and, every year. And it's the things like if it's if I haven't got it, it's because it's really expensive, yeah. and I don't want to ask other people to get me yeah. something that that's you sure. know. So it's just like, uh, yeah. So usually what I'll do is I come up with, like this year I came up with a list of the books that I just haven't bought oh, myself yeah. yet That's that good. I know I'll read yeah. or, you know, clothes, stuff like that. Like there's things, but I don't know. I'm not too worried about yeah. it. Yeah. I asked uh, for uh, a new hip. Can Santa bring that? I don't know. I mean, I don't know if he's qualified. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I, I don't ever ask for anything, honestly. Um, I Again, my wife and I are like to a point where, or something we need, we go get it. You yeah. know, I mean, it's just, I'm not holding out buying you some socks until Christmas, you know? I yeah. mean, that's no, just silly. I get it. There's there's some, but that's the thing. So, I don't know. I, I'm sure I got something. I'm sure I liked it. I mean, I'm I'm not too hard to please, so. I'm going to predict that on Christmas morning, yeah, I'm going to open nothing. How about that? Are you going to at any point in time during no, Christmas Day? No, I don't Day? think I'll get anything. At all? Yeah, I don't think so. From anybody? Nah. Well, now I want to get. Why do I need anything? I just don't. I don't know. I, I tell people not to give me things because I don't. I don't want it. My wife brought home a couple of things from work mm -hmm. yesterday. She was like, "Well, not yesterday, but you know, yesterday yeah, to yeah, the yeah, day yeah. that we're talking about." Yeah. yeah. She brought on a couple of things. She goes, oh. "She goes, I really appreciate it, but I hate when people give me stuff because then I feel like I got to get them something." And that's that. That's very true. That's why the Christmas thing I don't like as much as the Thanksgiving stuff. I see, and I get that because. Mm -hmm. And I wish that I could let people know, but it's hard for it's us to do that. the Christmas train coming through town. It is the Christmas train. I'll just let it. I'm not worried. It's oh, not messing good. up I'm too much. Um, but um, the thing is, like, I've always liked giving gifts. Yeah. Like, I really enjoy doing it. Better than getting them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And it's, but I understand, like, I don't want to make somebody feel like they need, because I'd, I'd give it without expecting something, but sure. I get as us being human, it yeah. just feels like we need to do something in return. Yeah. Well, so sometimes I just feel like, eh, as much as I want to, maybe I don't get them something, because I just don't want them to feel like they have to back to. But yeah. yeah. No, I, I just, I don't need anything. I'm good. Thanks. Yeah. You know, but uh, thanks anyway, Santa. Yeah. Well, I hope everybody else had a great Christmas. Or Krampus. <laughs> Whoever you want to use. Love that Krampus. Yeah. Eh, he's kind of mean to kids. It's my favorite. I want to see him beat some kid. kids with some sticks and put them in a sack. I think that's the perfect note for us to end on. There's never been like an animated Krampus tale. Are you sure? I don't think so. I, I would in love Germany. To see there's one. not a uh, anime. maybe. I think it's probably those creepy puppets for, yes. a, for a shadow yeah. tale kind of. But uh, well, it would kind of fit for Krampus. That's creepy though. Oh, you don't want those that. are always creepy. They are, but I thought that's what you would want with Krampus mm -hmm. is creepy. No, no. You I want, want a nice little cuddly a, a, Krampus. Adorable. Yeah. Adorable Krampus. Why can't I buy a stuffed Krampus? Disney's Krampus. Disney's <laughs> <laughs> From the makers of Frozen 3 comes Krampus. Uh, Hardly knew him. And then as it comes out, we'll tie it all together as it's like, Krampus coming to theaters this holiday. Hey, y'all, prepare yourself for the rubber band. As Krampus man. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. So uh, I can't believe I sang. Anyway. That's great. Uh, yeah. You did a good job. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Merry Christmas to you. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to you, buddy. to all the people you know. Uh, happy Same. holidays to everybody. I don't care what you what you celebrate this time of year. Just take a day off, you know, and, and be with family and stuff. That's, that's all that really counts. That's perfect. I can't say it any better than that. So... That and um, alcohol. Well, yeah. No, just uh, whatever you got to do to make it through. Uh, well, no, not whatever you got to do. Yeah. Uh, uh, Stop it, murder. Peace, Peace on earth and goodwill to all and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, Merry Christmas. Um, yeah, happy Christmas. And by the way, you guys that are fighting, stop it. Yeah, let's let's hug it out. Here we go. Done. Um, appreciate it as always, you guys taking the time out to listen. Next week, we have a year in review. Looking Ooh. forward to that. As always, make sure to check out Rogue Media Network and the Rogue Media Network family of podcasts. RogueMediaNetwork.com. And as always, stay safe, everybody. Hey, Golly Khan, and Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, y'all, prepare yourself for the rubber band. Man, you'll never hear the sound like a rubber band. Man, you're bound to lose control when the rubber band starts to jam. Frozen, frozen. Heroes, gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, Heroes, gonna tell you about. This has been a Rogue Media Network production.